It is unfair to ask for something you are not willing to give. Do you agree? I mean, it is unfair to ask for respect and kindness when you are a rapist. Do you agree? Do you agree that um, it is unfair to ask for be treated nicely when you are a pedophile? Or a Nazi? A supremacist? I'll fire his own race without any exception over the other just because of skin color. No. Peace. It's also not something you are talking about on a daily basis. Do you agree? No. If you are agree with the things I did say, why are you not vegan? We vegans are speaking up for a disenfranchised group of living beings. Yes, animals are disenfranchised groups of living beings. There are living and there are sentient also. And there are rare. They have the biological, physiological, anatomical, and all those features to obtain consciousness. You can check the Cambridge Declaration of Consciousness about that, if you don't believe me. And about fish, you can also check the book um, What Are Fish Knows? For many reference, why fish are conscious and aware. Also, you don't have to add that. If you have a dog or a cat, you probably already know that animals are not automatons, that there are feelings, that they can feel love, sadness, and despair. Oh, emotions. So. We, what we vegans want is just that you extend the love that same people have for their companion animals to all other living animals on this planet. You, if you have a dog or cat, I think you want that it's that that living being is happy, but they don't have pain. Cost the least that that um, you want that are suffer the least amount. So when are not going vegan, uh, for example, cows in the dairy industry are artificial inseminated. This is a nice word for rape. The bulls are actually um, put a metal device in their anus and actually are forcefully ejaculated, um, forcefully masturbated. Actually, you can say to uh, get their sperm so and, and after that one uh, farmer actually put his hands in the um, female preparation organ of the cow and he yucked them with bull sperm with a pair of hands an iron device also think about this how will you feel if you are children are being stolen away? Okay. That on the day that they are born are ripped out of your hands and transported to a concentration camp far away from you. Basically, that's what we do with cows. And mother cows are scream for moms for their stolen babies to give them back to her. Desperate cries, so saddening. And baby calves also scream for their mothers. When they are put in small cages with white boxes close to them. 
breaks my heart. And then the little chickens that I can actually live up to the age of 10 if they get a chance are killed on one and a half years and the males are put in a rendering machine. So sad. Sad little male chickens. Sad little female chickens. I will get osteoporosis because people constantly steal the eggs that she lays and then they trick out her insects to lay more eggs. So the calcium depleting will go on. So if you have chickens as pets, don't take their eggs away. And if they don't eat them themselves, which sometimes happen, maybe you have to tick them so the chicken nose ear is not fertilized. The eggs are for us not healthy because eggs are the single higher singing cholesterol. And your body makes all the cholesterol you need. Actually, the, on, the only bad way of cholesterol is your cholesterol from your diet. The chickens don't have problems with that because they are, have a sh shorter intestinal tract than us. Also compared to their body size. And we don't need to eat animals or their secretions to survive. So why not going vegan? Stop making excuses. Since you are not to want that somebody make an excuse when you are the victim in the scenario. It is unfair to ask that when others are the victim in the scenario. Peace and not to compromise with the violence. And the violent one yeah, have to come in peace with the compassion for one. One rape victim should not be forced to compromise with the rapist. They don't should have to give up their own safety for a rapist. And pedophile have uh, to compromise his freedoms for the safety of his victims. Just like with a rapist, just like with a murderer. Yes, he have to re redeem himself. If you ask me if you have a if you are a murderer, you have to prove that you are changed. Yes, it sounds hard, but that's how I think it should work. You have to prove actually that you have learned from being in prison, that you have that you actually been a changed man. I know that sounds hard, but if you are a truly really tough man, and I say man because most violent criminals are men in the Australia around. Um, I think one around 94% uh, of all the violent criminals are men in the prisons. All the rapists, all murderers, all pedos, pedophilias, all of them are male. Yes, a man can also be victims of. Uh, Rip. But most of the time, when a man is actually violated, it is probably by another man. Why? First, women are most of the time smaller than men. Second, 
most of the time men are more horny. And what happens when you are horny? You become stupid and make stupid decisions. I don't say that women that can be horny and do stupid sh sh shit. So don't be ridiculous. But you have to see things in perspective. And not listen to your ego too much. Something is not true just because it is confident for you to believe it. But also, all violent criminals are non-vegans. So if you want to uh, blame one category of people, blame non-vegans. By the way, veganism is also not just a diet. So I, I, I try to have explained in this video. Veganism is a way of life. It is a philosophy. It is actually about being a once not a self-entitled person who only think about himself. Because veganism is not just a diet. Because vegans only just not only eat not animals, but they also don't wear them. And if you are morally consistent, of course you also be not a rapist. Because if you are against the rape of cows, if you are against the rape of pigs, think about it. Then you also will be against the rape of members of your own species. That's pure factual logic. You don't have to be Einstein to figure out this. So stop believing the lies about the fake um, applications against fellow vegans if you are vegan or if you are not vegan to vegans and go yourself also vegan instead of making excuses on the moment you stop making excuses you become enlightened when darkness and light become one the reality is splintered away, and the truth becomes visible. 